welcome to the latest installment of the Grow Socially Summer video series. My name is Lou. And I'm Tom Barry. We're back from our little uh, two-week sabbatical there. Yeah. We took one off, but fear not, we're back with the best stories in social media of the past week. Number five, uh, LinkedIn, whose star continues to rise lately, not just uh, in stocks, but really all around. Um, they're revamping their mobile presence. Uh, for iPhone and Android, they're making their uh, mobile apps with more focus on groups, and they're just trying to make them just more streamlined for the mobile uh, mobile audience. So I think LinkedIn has the right idea right now. Um, they're really just they're doing awesome right now, yeah. really in every facet of their business. So I think just another reason to, to go mobile. Uh, LinkedIn's doing it. It just it makes a lot of sense right now. Yeah, it's the beginning of the mobile era. So absolutely, absolutely, definitely. Number four this week, StumbleUpon decided to add a, an Explore tab, so it's getting more and more specific. The more viewers they have, the more people they have submitting blogs and information. You can now say, instead of searching just m music and videos, you can go right down to a music video, Rihanna, or whatnot. Like, you can actually stumble upon just those, or search things that are a little more specific. Yeah, yeah, well, that's my girl, so. Uh, it, I think it's cool. I think it's, um, no, no. It is cool though, but uh, some will point out the explore box. You might want to check that out. Absolutely, yeah. It's uh, a little more specific. Mm -hmm. uh, number three, Google uh, acquired um, Motorola, um, so that uh, they're trying to uh, boost up. Is it actually Motorola, or is it like Motorola? Is it like a part of Motorola? What happened? Hello, I'm Graham. What happened was Google bought Motorola to kind of advance their next step in the whole mobile strategy. And what they want to do with that is release a whole new line of Androids. They're going to make everything Google friendly. They're going to get all your information. Be very afraid. Right there, ladies and gentlemen, is why we have a social media specialist. Here. That's why he gets paid the big bucks. Absolutely. Number two. That was fantastic. Tom, you take number two. Number two, uh, NBC actually in Philly. NBC 10 in Philly decided yep. to use It's one of my Foursquare. favorite NBC affiliates. Yeah, that's the one I watch when I go to visit Temple. I don't have no reason to go there, but um, get my cheesesteak, and now I can actually get my news on Foursquare. One of their reporters is using just Foursquare directly, where he'll go out and, I'm assuming, check into places and then update frequently the news that happens at those individual places. So say you go to check in somewhere and there's something going on, you can figure out your news from the NBC10 right there at the site. So I think that's uh, it's an interesting approach and definitely an interesting use of Foursquare, but Foursquare's got a couple of new things as well. They um, you can check into becoming. events. Uh, that's another new development from Foursquare this week. You can check into events, uh, whether it be a concert um, or uh, a sporting event, a movie, anything like that. So Rihanna Foursquare. concert. Rihanna. Mm. She's fantastic. I love her. So Foursquare is really uh, boosting up their presence as well as their usership grows. Uh, number one, kind of a, uh, Rather kind creepy. Of, kind of a yeah. creepy one here, Tom. Yeah. Uh, the hacker group Anonymous, uh, they've been making waves kind of all over the place lately. Uh, they recently took down the Syrian um, Department of Defense website and they launched a, a cryptic video on YouTube saying November 5th they were going to take down Facebook. Uh, they, they kind of are building it up as a day that will um, really change the world, which it would if it goes through. Um, but they basically have been alleging that Facebook has been selling our personal data, not mine. Not it could be mine. I don't know. Yeah, no. But everyone's uh, data to different governments and, and things like that. Um, and they're basically saying they don't stand for oppressive regimes or mm. what have you. But basically, something to look out for. Mark it on your calendar, November fifth. So figure out whose birthday is on November fifth before you log in that day to see who it is. Exactly. But, um, I think that pretty much rounds out the top five. This week, Tom, thanks mm -hmm. to Graham Spector for, for bailing us out guest there. Guest appearance. Number three, yeah, guest appearance. Um, check back next week. It'll be our last installment of the summer video series, our 12th one. We want to thank uh, everyone for watching, and we'll see you next week. Thank you.